Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it's it's Unreal Day, I guess. Uh, if you saw the channel earlier today, the massive news that Unreal Engine bought Quixel kind of overshadowed this slightly or massively less important news. Unless you happen to work in the world of engineering or architectural visualization, in which case this might actually be a bigger deal to you. Given that this is a game development channel, though, I think most of you are going to be more stoked about the whole Quixel thing. Now, this week, earlier on, Epic Games released uh, Unreal Engine 4. 4.24 Preview 1, followed up by Preview 2, I believe today actually, and one of the things about it that I really didn't like was this new project creation screen. So instead of just jumping into like the whole, um, here's where you, you know, choose, do you want a blueprint or C++ game or whatever, now you've got it into tiers where you've got to pick gaming or arch uh, architecture, engineering, construction, film, television, live events, automotive uh, product design and manufacturing before you pick your product. So most of you will now have to do two steps, like so. And I didn't like this, and I didn't really get why they were doing it until today. Now it suddenly makes sense. There are two products that have been in Unreal Engine for the last year and a bit, um, not really aimed at game development, specifically actually aimed at using Unreal Engine for things other than game development. The first one you can see right here. This is Unreal Studio. Now, Unreal Studio is in beta form, and this is all about bringing... Um, engineering and architects and all that stuff into Unreal Engine. It's a special version of Unreal Engine uh, that has something called Datasmith that allows you to import a number of different assets into Unreal Engine. There were a couple of other tools, etc., but that was running in beta. The other thing was Twin Motion. Now, Twin Motion is a company they bought uh, a while back. I've actually got a video. I'll show you it in a few minutes. Uh, but this is for rendering uh, real-time previews of your... So if you create um, a building that you want to you know show to, con to to potential customers or you want to demonstrate some engineering concept or such you can actually use unreal engine as the powering tool via um, this twin motion product I did a hands-on with twin motion shortly after they bought it uh, and I will link that below as well so why am I talking about all this stuff well it's gonna be very relevant in the news so obviously the news also contained the fact that unreal engine has quixel support which is awesome check that video out I'll link it down below as well but on top of that unreal studio is for all intents and purposes dead what they're instead doing is rolling it into unreal engine so no longer will you have um, this separate tier it won't be broken down it won't be a separate product it will just be part of unreal engine and then again that is why you now when you create your new games have to select the genre you are working with so you will get the the setup configured for it to work for you uh, and the big things in this guy um so the notable unreal studio features that are now going to be part of unreal engine is Datasmith, a workflow toolkit that enables you to uh, uh, efficiently aggregate and optimize 3D Studios Max, Revit, SketchUp Pro, Cinema 4D, and a wide range of CAD and BIM, which I believe is Business Intelligent Management Data, in Unreal Engine. So now it is going to be available for all Unreal Engine users, bringing high fidelity, whole scene conversions to the masses. So if you work in ArchViz, it's great news. This stuff is all going to be just part of Unreal Engine, um, and it is free so being made available free to everybody that is using unreal studio so if you're working in this particular area it might be advantageous to you to a certain degree um, but there were some benefits that you already actually reaped in the 4.24 preview one beta and that is the real-time mesh editing that actually is coming from studio so if you bring in some mesh data and you want to just tweak it directly in the engine there are tools there's edit mode mesh editing tools that are now built directly in those are being rolled into unreal engine 4.24 along with the rest of the studio features. Now, the other part of this that I was talking about, so here's the things that happened in Unreal Engine 4.24, but what we come now to is Twin Motion. Now, Twin Motion has been free. It was scheduled to be free until November. Uh, previously, we announced that Twin Motion would remain free until November 2019th. Uh, once downloaded, you can continue using the free version indefinitely. Today, they are extending the free vis availability until the next release of Twin Motion, which is anticipated to ship in the first quarter of 2020. So you've got a longer window. Actually, that might be a polite way of saying that they've delayed the first release. I'm not 100% certain there. But if you haven't downloaded or got a hold of Twin Motion yet, you can grab it and continue to use it free after the fact. Um, but the free window to grab it is being extended into the first quarter of 2020. Um, new version will offer greater photorealism, improved assets, tools to facilitate collaboration, collaborative workflows, etc. Really, you can think of Twin Motion as like a super 
easy to use level editor with a ton of content around you know landscapes and buildings and so on. Um, so if you're trying to stage or, or make an architectural scene, you want to bring in props and environments, you want to be able to walk through it. it. It's kind of like a stripped down subset of the Unreal Engine level editing tools and then a real time renderer and a library of assets to go along with it. So the kind of the key things here are the Datasmith. So again, Datasmith is a collection of tools and plugins. These are now going to be part of Unreal Engine 4 and not spun alone on um, Unreal Engine Studio itself. Um, again, this is mostly about bringing in CAD and enterprise -y data into Unreal Engine. Um, but definitely, if you are in this area, you'll really like it. And again, um, you've got better tools for working with uh, static assets directly inside of Unreal Engine. So improvement there for sure. And then the other thing, once again, is you get the uh, static geography modification stuff that is part of that whole workflow. And then finally, Twin Motion extended until um, 2020 of next year. And once again, if you grab it for free, you can continue to use it for free uh, going forward. Now, again, almost none of this stuff is for game developers specifically, other than the fact that you get the mesh editing stuff in there. You can bring in data sets from... Um, so if you want to create your game based around, say, real-world data set objects, Datasmith might be handy for you in that regard. And I could potentially see using Twin Motion for rapid-level prototyping, uh, but really this is more aimed at scientific and archivist engineering kind of crowd. Uh, but I figured I should mention it nonetheless. I know it's definitely going to be lost in the incredible um, Quixel acquisition news, but this is, you know, some more Unreal Engine news. I thought I would share it. And uh, yeah, great day for Unreal Engine people. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.